pass it to Alonzo. Alonzo pulls from deep three. Lamelo for three. He has room. It is. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Really? As I'm doing the all rights, my land cable disconnect. Actually, it shouldn't matter. We're playing an offline game mode, anyways. All right, 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 all right. Oh, yeah, I'm leaving all that in there. I'm giving an L to the PS5 for the fact, dog. I never had an issue with my land cable on the entirety of the history of my PS4. Matter of fact, I actually hooked it back up to my PS4 like a week ago to see if it would work, and it worked fine. Man, screw my land. Oh, my God. Yo, today is December 1st of 2020 in the virtual basketball thing. And now people seem to really, really love when I do certain ideas, like when I, uh, you know what I mean, put all the players back on their hometown team, put them all back on their previous teams. That was a nuts video. All those type of videos where I have to take my time and set up the rosters myself. And well, I did it again, okay? I'll say, screw it, whatever, we'll get out the way. If you appreciate content work I put in, the fact that this video is gonna be very long, like all of my videos, and I spend more time probably on 2K simulating things than anybody else probably in the rest of the world, you could uh, subscribe, channel, like, video, whatever, man. All the corny YouTube BS you're supposed to do. But it helps because, like, you just click buttons and it helps my career. It's a pretty solid trade-off. But I can't control you. And as you can see, we get off to a pretty solid start with uh, the fact that the Philadelphia 76ers as a, yeah, I don't think you're blind. You are, well, it, maybe you are. Shout out to all my blind people. But if you read the title of the video, it's, I put all the players back in their prime. They're still on the same exact teams unless, uh, Curveball, if they're not in the teams, we'll show you that. There, there's a couple of guys, two of them to be exact in a second that I put in free agency that are, you know what I mean, their primes now two best players in free and scene 2k but we'll talk about it in a second first up though uh 76ers dwight howard yes he's in his prime now not every single team has a player whatever you, you'll see in a minute dwight howard though um you go from like what a 78 to a 93 one of the biggest jumps actually i kind of forgot about this one but yeah here we are and uh, anybody else there was players that don't have like an all-time edition of their player i may have just boosted them up a couple overalls myself like danny green i put him back in a prime spurs form i think he's like a 74 in this game but now he's a 78 because i did it if i miss any though just don't eviscerate me or end my existence okay great milwaukee bucks they get prime brooke lopez from the all-time nets um that's like a i don't know an eight point overall boost pretty solid as well as i gave a boost to dj augustine there you go made this roster a few days ago so i apologize if i miss any um the bulls got literally nobody literally nobody at all on this team was anywhere i mean who the hell cares about garrett temple sorry garrett temple hey, hey, hey the Ca cleveland cavaliers unless wait did i miss anybody in the bulls no i don't think i did cleveland cavaliers kevin love going to his prime minnesota timberwolves form hell even his prime cavaliers form would have worked at this point i think he's only like an 80 overall in 2k these days but now he's a 92 Oh, yeah, and you get prime Andre Drummond. He goes up by like three. He's still on the team, even though he requested out. Oh, and I boosted up Matthew Delavo Dover. You get it. Boston Celtics, you get Hornets, Kemba Walker. They don't have an all time Jeff Teague, but I know that Jeff Teague was around in 83 in his prime. Remember when he made the all star team and the Hawks were really good? And of course, 70 overall Taco Fall. The Los Angeles Clippers, you get yourself Kawhi Leonard in his Raptors all time form. I mean, he goes up by like one. Who the hell cares? Paul George, this is his Pacers all time form. He goes up from, I don't know, 80. 88 to 93. Maybe even 90. He's been incredible this season thus far. You may have put Reggie Jackson a couple overalls, but that's really about it on this team. Oh, yeah, and Lou Will, too. A couple of these guys have fallen off just slightly. Oh, yeah, Nick Batum, for Christ's sake. He went up by, like, I don't know, eight. He was very good on his Portland Trailblazers days. Memphis, I'm pretty sure this team has absolutely nobody themselves. I, I thought they were actually the only one, but I guess Chicago is also in there. Atlanta's best player now is 90 overall prime Celtics all time Rajon Rondo. Next to Trey Young. They're both six foot one, and they both have only point guard as their position. That should be interesting. Thing. If they want to, actually, I'll make Trey a shooting guard. Hi, Trey. How are you? I think that's it for them, too. I might have boosted Gallo by, like, two. Miami Heat is actually a very interesting one. Well, for one, because they have all-time... The Heat, I guess, be, despite their three rings, right? They have three rings. They don't have much history. Goran Dragic at 85 overalls on their all-time roster. So, hey, that's pretty cool. I, I went and retrieved him because he's went down to, like, an 80 this season. And also, they have a... You know, they wanted Iguodala. I'm going to keep making that. You know what I mean? Shout out Max Kellerman. And they get prime Udonis Haslam also on their all-time roster. I mean, he's been there for about 27 years and uh, he's an 84 charlotte hornets you get all-time utah jazz gordon hayward i think that's it right hello cody and caleb this uh, identical twin utah you get all-time memphis grizzlies mike conley i swear it gets a lot more interesting than these like these four overall jumps although rondo was like an 80 overall jump sacramento they actually just uh they get um what's it called miami's hassan whiteside another miami heat all-time player how the hell i don't know that was me out i don't know i didn't have to do anything to him oh yeah right uh new york knicks i did a video recently where i put derrick rose uh prime Derrick Rose on the Knicks for the remainder of his career when he was like 32 years old. I did that. But uh, now we're going to see him in a league where everybody else is also in their prime, like some other players hint that have may have played for the Knicks too. Hello, Emmanuel, quickly. And uh, yeah, my, my guys, they, they just scored 140 last night. Los Angeles Lakers, this guy LeBron is still pretty good If you, in case you haven't heard of him. Uh, you know what I mean? Nowadays in the NBA, but I also got to put him up by however many overalls. AD actually is in his prime. Oh yeah, right. Marcus Gasol now 93 overall on the Memphis Grizzlies all-time team. That is nuts. And then I think 
think I also gave a boost to Wesley Matthews and maybe D Schrode because they both kind of fell off a little bit in overall rating. But aside from that, yeah, we chilling. You know, shout out to Alex Crusoe because I'm not like a, I don't think the Alex Crusoe memes have really ever been funny, but just the fact that the internet has made it so that, that a cool role player is now getting like endorsement deals and shoe deals is kind of nuts. Oh man, Orlando gets prime rookie of the year, Michael Carter Williams, as well as Al Farouk Aminu. I know I gave him a boost. I'm pretty sure the Mavericks got absolutely nobody. Yeah, no, they, they have literally nobody. Boban is in his prime. I don't care how old he is. I've been in the league for like five years. Uh, hey, Brooklyn, 90, 97 overall, 23-year-old OKC Kevin Durant, even though he's still wearing a, a, a Nets jersey. And they actually have him at his old listed height of 6'9", so um, I guess they took off an inch from his... I, sorry, Kevin, you gain like an overall, but you lose height. Then this is all-time Rockets hard, and he goes up by like one. Kyrie goes up by like four or three or some from the all-time Cavs. And DeAndre Jordan from the Clippers, that's probably the biggest one. And I gave boost to uh, Andre Roberson, as well as Iman Shumpert. This is this is Nick's 2011 Iman Shumpert. Sure, why the hell not? Paul Millsap from the Atlanta Hawks, 87 overall. I guess I did do a lot more work than I thought I did. I, I'll give props to myself with that. This, this did take like an hour and a half. Akundo Campazo, or however the hell you pronounce that name. I, that man is, he's only 29. I don't think the Pacers have anybody at all. Yeah, no, they don't They don't have anybody. Pelicans have a couple. This is, uh, I mean, I gave Eric Bledsoe a couple boosters overall because he fell off a, a, actually a lot. He's like a 78 now. You know what I mean? They don't have an all-time sons or nothing, but he, he was nice. JJ Redick actually even crazier than the Heat having like Hassan Whiteside. He's on the all-time Clippers, which I mean, it's the Clippers. Detroit Pistons, they still have Blake Griffin. They have not released him. He's still there. He does only have one year left, but we shall see. Blake Griffin, Jeremy Grant, and uh, oh yeah, rookie, rookie God, Jaleel Okafor, when he averaged like 20, I gave him a boost to his overall, as well as Dennis Smith Jr. I gave a boost to his overall because he's fallen off a little bit. That's definitely biased for me because that's my guy. You, you've probably seen the video where I met Dennis Smith. Yeah, I mean, I've put it on in videos before, but it, he genuinely has fallen off. So yeah, although he's been playing well recently and uh, the Toronto, you get all time Kyle Lowry. He's like an 83 nowadays. So he goes up Fred Van Vliet, Siakam. They actually all or Siakam was even an all time addition himself because he was better on the all time roster. I saw Houston, you get prime John Wall, prime Victor Oladipo, who's still actually pretty young and not injured. Oh, actually, yeah, he'd actually did get pretty big injuries. So never mind. And uh, Eric Gordon from, is it the Hornets or the Clippers? One of the two, one of the two, the all time well, uh, Pelicans. That would be now. The Spurs get prime LaMarcus Aldridge from the, uh, from the Trailblazers. I almost said Rockets. I don't know why. It's the same color scheme, probably. And you get Raptors, DeMar DeRozan. And you get Rudy Gay from the uh, all-time uh, Grizzlies. I actually thought he should have been a higher overall. I remember this man being a demon in 2K. Phoenix Suns. Uh, hey, guess what? Chris Paul goes up by like nine overalls to a 97. Shout out to him, though. He did make the all-star team yet again at like his 37-year-old form. Or however old he is. I don't know how old he is. OKC, you get Al Horford from the Hawks. George Hill, I just kind of bumped. Actually, he might actually be an 81. No, I know. I gave him an Ariza boost for sure. Minnesota. Uh, yeah, you get nobody either. Sorry, you don't have Kevin Garnett still these days. That would have been, yeah, no, it's been like five years. Portland's best player now is 95 overall Denver Nuggets, Carmelo Anthony. Obviously, Dame is in his prime now. CJ's in his prime now. Nurkic had to give a couple boosts too because he's been better in 2K in the past years. He's been very injured these past few years as well. But yeah, Melo, Carmelo Anthony, he's been playing immaculate in real life. I think that was, that was my last tweet saying that I, I'll really appreciate watching his jab steps for the next few years because, or like year or two or whatever. So we'll never see another player like that, man. And um, that's, I mean, you, you know, you know the drill. That's my favorite player, actually. I have, I, you remember the statue from the 03 video? If you, if you know, you know. Warriors get all time Steph, all time Clay, all time Draymond. And that's it for this team as well. And the Wizards, all time Russell Westbrook, 95 overall from the Oklahoma City Thunder. Bradley Beal is in his prime right now. Wow, he's still only 27, too. That is nuts. He was drafted like 23rd. I mean, I guess that's how it works, that's how age works. He was a young man. And uh, that's it for this team as well. That's it. So, and the last people that I had hinted at earlier, you probably could have guessed who the hell the two people were. I didn't want to put everybody into their prime. Like, for instance, I think Pau Gasol is on the free agency list, but he also just signed like overseas as well. You could always just leave and sign the NBA, I think. But nonetheless, like, I didn't want to put like, first of all, there isn't a lot of guys, but like Jamal Crawford basically retired at this point. I'm not going to put him into his prime. Plus, there isn't a prime version of him in 2K, I don't think. It actually genuinely might be it though, like in terms of just players. I think that's really it. So I put Boogie and IT into uh, their prime. IT I had to do manually, and Boogie is on the all time Kings, which I mean, IT I guess could have been it. No, but yeah, he's, he didn't make the sell. You know, not a lot of people make the Celtics all time roster. We know this. So this is it. I've shown you everything. It's it got even nuts. I didn't even really, I didn't give enough credit to this team right here, this uh, Dwight Howard uh, and B team. I have no control over anything. We're going to see how the hell they do regular season, watch the playoffs, all that stuff. I haven't done a video like this actually in a, I was about to say a rather long time. What the hell is this proper English? It's the 76ers have not lost a game yet. They're the best team in the conference. But yeah, like I said, I already said like video, subscribe channel, whatever, all corny stuff. I already got that out the way. Why, why am I repeating it again? And also, I already know the comments about to come about my haircut, dog. I mean, it, been, it, make, it makes sense. I was I was hindered by a lot of, of a few different life instances, you know, like getting snowed in.
in every other day. Uh, my barber got the virus himself, uh, personal family health issues. Um, you know what I mean? We in a pan panoramic, dog. Things get tough out here. For this video, hey, actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's just stick to the theme. Let me know if you could take one. Ooh, actually, you know, this is a completely different question. If you could take one NBA player and reverse their age by 10 years, basically effectively putting them back in their prime, who the hell would it be? It could even be somebody that's retired, to be honest with you. Screw it. LeBron and Westbrook are the captains. Russell on his, uh, you know what I mean, w wizards carrying them. Dwight Howard's an all-star starter, so he actually, uh, he puts Embiid on the bench as the last pick. Wow. Blake Griffin, Paul George, Kevin Love, Lowry. I'm just reading off the guys that are actually, that I genuinely effectively changed into their prime forms, like Marcus Saul, Derek Rose. There's a lot of them. Then, of course, Melo is starting. Chris Paul starting. Yeah, dog, you see them all. And Westbrook, of course, is the, uh, you already know Westbrook is going to get his stats. LeBron is number one in the MVP race, so this is Cavaliers all-time LeBron. I, I could have picked him or the Heat. It really doesn't matter. They're both 99. Although, I, I did see that the tendencies are different, but I think I think we most would agree his Cavs form was his... I don't know, actually. I don't know. You, you tell me. White is averaging 27 and 14. Oh, my God. And Embiid is averaging 29 and 11. They are playing incredible next to each other. I don't know if they're both starting. I could check that. I'm on the Sixers right now, actually. And then Luka and Westbrook rounded out. Westbrook averaging pretty similar numbers to what he did in OKC. Look at my guy. Oh, they upgraded the manual quickly tendencies? Whoa. Oh, yeah. I might do some sort of rookie video soon or something. I don't know. We'll see. Actually, you know, I'm. they're not doing a Rising Stars game in real life, but uh, I know some people are asking for me to do some All-Star events type of stuff. I saw my guy Obi's about to be in the All-Star, in the, in the dunk contest. And I, this is my first video I'm making since Julius Randle got announced to the All-Star team, so congrats to them. I keep getting, I still get tagged every single day and people telling me on Instagram as Dwight is starting at Power Forward. Let me continue the simulation though. I get tagged every single day. Yo, Julius, he playing incredible. How you feel? Like, dog, I talk about it every single video. If you don't just watch. LeBron James, MVP, number 23 himself. The mellow rookie, Tobias, sixth man. Oh, wait, wait, what? Is he a Power Forward? Is that? Okay, yeah, yeah sure. Giannis, DPOI, still he wins it for the second straight time. Christian Wood still wins most improved. I gotta see where Boogie and IT signed too, or if they did sign. Is Boogie on any All-NBA? No, and neither is IT, so yeah, I gotta see where the hell they ended up, if they did end up, like I said. Luka, Westbrook, LeBron, Giannis, and Jokic on the first team. Curry, Harden, KD, Melo, and Dwight. What my guy Melo average with his 95 shot? Wow, it's only a 95. I would've thought it was a 99. 28, 7, and 6. My god, the Blazers, dog. So, so many teams become scary with this. That's the thing. I doubt the Pistons are scary, but Blake still got his numbers. And Kevin Love, they might be kind of scary. I won't lie. Chris Paul, 23 and 11, or 12. Derek Rose, 28 and 10. But the defensive teams, DeAndre's on here now. Rondo's on here now. He averaged 14 and 10. Very Rondo ish numbers. Paul George, Kawhi, Dwight. So, Dwight, I don't, I, that's better than any numbers he's ever averaged in his entire career, dog. The most he's ever averaged is 23, and now he's averaging 27. Imagine him, Ben Simmons, and Embiid in a lineup. Look at quickly, all NBA. For, oh my God, I love it. So Sixers, Nets, Heat. I gotta just, we, we, you know how, first we'll check the stats later. Luka, Beal, Levine, Curry, and Embiid lead in points. Look at Zach, still up here. Him and Beal, despite all the additions. And Embiid, and Luka, what the hell? This entire thing is just current player. The addition of all-time Curry, of course, who's still basically just the same Curry. Rebounds per game is Gobert, Howard, Wood, DeAndre, and Sabonis. And assist is LeBron, Chris Paul, Westbrook, Curry, and Ja. Ja with no teammates added to him. Zion leads in field goal percentage and three point percentage is uh Mr. Jeff T and Joe Harris, who actually got traded. So let's see. Boogie signed to the Pelicans. That's ironic or coincidence. No, it's a uh, I don't know. I still don't know the correct way to use either one of those words. I probably do. I'm just lying to myself. Uh Boogie signed with the Pelicans, so he's next to Zion now. I gotta see if they're in the playoffs. And the Hornets got IT. That's kind of weird because they already have Rosier. You got Rosier, Devante, Lamelo. I guess throw Malik in there. Uh throw throw Dwayne. No, Dwayne Bacon's on the magic now. Uh, yeah. The Hornets are not in the playoffs and the pelicans are the second seed oh man when it comes to trades javelle got traded austin rivers got traded miles turner got traded for joe harris wow why would they do that and you already have deandre jordan that literally makes no sense like you finally solved your center problem and your defense problem brooklyn and now you just bring in another set i don't know i mean i guess he's a great shot blocker screw it more shot blocking him deandre and kd and malik beasley who's on my fantasy team what i've mentioned every single video my fantasy team for some somehow players just come up i mean maybe because we're doing nba simulations and i have an nba fantasy he's on my fantasy team and he just got suspended for 12 games got traded for clint capella all right who the hell cares overall is he these days 82 okay seth curry got traded for laurie marketing what the hell wait why do the Sixers do that though but then they now they have him off the oh my god i don't even know anymore bulls just just tanking this league is all over the place i don't even regret going deeply into the like i feel like i'm wasting too much time but what what the hell is going on Sixers were uh five by five games the best team in the league yes pelicans have to be starting boogie now next to zion so it's just you know what i mean you, you get it Derek Bledsoe a shooting guard uh, did i not uh, no 
no, yeah, he is a shooter. All right, whatever. 2K is weird. Why the hell would Eric Bledsoe ever be listed at shooting guard? I don't even care if he plays shooter. He's like 6'1". Portland's up here. So there's only three teams that are even over, well, I guess, yeah, it's 50. There's only two teams over 50 wins, both being above 60, and then a bunch of teams under 500 in the playoffs. The Jazz, who are great in real life. You get Mike Conley, your worst. The Warriors, what? You get Prime Draymond, your worst. Look at the Prime Draymond numbers. You watch, they're going to be the exact same, almost. Now, they're actually pretty great. Dallas misses it. Sacramento, Minnesota. Look, you see it. You see it, dog. Look at these teams. You can decipher them. OKC, all of these guys. Grizzlies, who got absolutely nobody added. Matter of fact, uh, John Wall and Oladipo missed it. Lamar and LaMarcus and their primes missed it. Oh, wait, the East gets a little bit crazier, though, because Prime Blake missed it. Which, that's cool. Then Prime Rondo misses it. Prime IT and them. Prime IT and Hayward missed the playoffs. And Prime D Rose misses the playoffs. And, of course, Prime Michael Carter Williams ties for the eight seed. But, yeah, aside from that, there the hell you go, bro. Here, here's the teams that made it. Love to see Udonis has them starting at the four for the Heat. Does not seem like there's many surprises that actually did make the playoffs. So there the hell you go. That, that's that's fantastic. Okay. We are ready to simulate the hell out of these playoffs. Look at me. I, I said I was about to, oh, we ready to hop into the playoffs thing. I left for like an hour and went and got some more green tea. If you know, you know. Said some more like I had some earlier. No, I, I left for an hour, went to go eat. But now I'm back and we, we, get, we ready to get started. Come on now. Oh, I got to get back into the energy. The first casualty of this playoff thing. The first team. Wait, do I have control? No, I don't. Okay. I thought I was going to be able to shoot a stupid shot with Tyler Hero. First team is getting the hell up out of here is the Boston Celtics. As Jimmy Butler kind of just zero step dog. It's over. Give it a oh my god, Tyler. Why why are you doing this to them? They, they did nothing. Okay. And I guess they lost, so that's something maybe. Jimmy Butler 29 11. Goron 25. Precious had 12. Tyler Hero 18. Iguadala 22. Oh, look at oh yeah, that's right. They have Prime Iguadala. Right. That's a pretty big difference. How do you Donis do eight points? Well, normal Tristan Thompson. The money is not much better or worse than what he was. I mean, he I guess he is a, a lot worse because he got like a max contract or something stupid like that. He did not get no max. Remember, he waited until like September to get his like due respect or money or whatever. Uh, deuces, Boston. I'm sorry, Prime Kevin Love, but even Prime Kevin Love was leading those Timberwolves teams to zero playoff appearances. So um, in fairness, they just, they just fired like their 17th head coach of the past uh, like five years. It's a lie. They had Thibodeau for a couple years. But yeah, um, Giannis, the two-time MVP is a little bit better. I do want to say this real quick. Ayo, Giannis deserves more respect as Giannis dunks it down. Giannis deserves more respect. Now, I'm not going to lie. I get it. He can get some criticism for, you know what I mean? Not really like, like being great at shooting, whatever. But Giannis is like the only six foot 11 man that decided to, oh, hey, I'm just going to become the greatest six foot 11, strong, defensive, incredible work ethic, incredible effort, both ends of the floor every single night, DPOY. He has all the workload on both ends of the floor. Not all of it. They got Middleton. They got Drew, but he never is lacking on defense. I don't know. It's something about like a guy not being born with the God gifted talents of like James Harden, wait, the way that James Harden's able to hit wide open, I'm not wide open, the way that James Harden's able to shoot, period. It's something about him still making the most of that, not being able to shoot and becoming like a go and MVP and all that stuff and like you know what i mean uh hey brooke lopez forgot about you and next brooke lopez wins uh something he, he dropped 22 deuces to cleveland and back to the land or well obviously because we, we, were we already in the land no we weren't i did not mention the series is in either one of those past two um those are both game five so those were four one series wins by those two teams that's my fault this one's about to be the same as um but for god's sake that the the announcers are in the middle of the floor again they always do this and at this point i'm not even surprised oh wait is it a different announcer crew this time wow it's steve smith how you doing steve smith who will is able to hit both for yeah this is over utah call today big dogs hey yo let me just you know what i mean you you see you get the vibe yep the game ended why 19 reggie jackson 18 with his slight overall boost not much but whatever hey, able to beat down prime mike conley who still almost was an all-star this season the jazz deuces to utah all right so hold on here's the deal right now right portland is down by one point you got this guy named damian lillard they're down by one point they can win the series right here this is ironic because obviously they've had a lot of these scenarios with damian lillard trying to win series is uh, you know against houston against okc let's see they're playing phoenix oh he's got prime chris paul on him and then of course they got mellow too mellow with the braids in the corner Do they have mellow with the braids normally in 2k on the current blazers hold on double team down to robert covington wide open what the hell was that who was that was that dragon no it's, it's dario sorry let me let me chill out i'm not gonna call you dragon bender let me let me chill out dario but why is frank kaminsky on the floor uh, okay now chris paul and devin booker have the chance to try and save their series real quick d book between the legs twice step back on gary shrank come on chris paul where are you going with it i don't know four seconds left over to cp cp for three uh he still shoots it contested it's off and really mellow grabs the rebound that you didn't really need to grab anyways because the shot clock is over but um yeah the portland trailblazers are gonna beat down the phoenix sun sorry to prime cp3 but you lose to prime mellow still not a lot of playoff success for cp not to disrespect cp because i love why is mellow's break why are they what this cornrow's just floating wait no 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 i need to i need to there's no i need a deep dive on this first of all i got him wearing number 34 whatever mellow's already wearing zero zero it doesn't get much worse than that uh no actually I, it's just it's just the, this angle of it is kind of yeah 
what who the hell cares oh my god my guy had 47 and 8 lillard 36 and 13 cp had 38 and 19 this is a game five right game five game six the ages but deuces to phoenix they're now eliminated portland moves on the brooklyn nets very viciously pulled up to toronto to get the toronto raptors the hell up out of here obviously this is still a team that has you know james harden kevin durant kyrie irving and uh, now prime deandre jordan i wonder what team will be better this team or the lakers who kind of have everybody in their their entire soul uh whole, oh my oh my god why did you do that bro there's no shot clock he put aaron baines wait is aaron baines i feel like it's been it for years wasn't aaron baines getting put on posters like every other week back in the day ayo uh, harden he's gonna miss the free throw anyways somehow and who the hell is that john is that stanley jo how you doing stanley johnson it's been some years since that scene actually no you've been on that team for like two years now 141 107 win brooklyn's gonna move on uh, you saw whatever the hell game was game six Pascal 26 and 11 van vliet 21 og 11 norman 10 uh james had 40 and 12 kyrie 31 i say 40 and 12 for james like it's nothing because it really isn't he, he's put up 40 like 47 no more than that actually and deandre is playing like deandre and some for some reason miles turner's here and he did his miles turner thing and nobody else really scored because they needed to they didn't need to score i saw something that said the nets uh harris kd uh harris kd kyrie and, and harden averaging like 100 points per game alone see if russell westbrook gets some free throws real quick uh it doesn't matter anyways though this game is over philadelphia 121 109 game six potential win well it, it's gonna happen uh yeah the dwight howard led prime dwight howard led philadelphia 76ers laurie marketing in here right now with shake milton danny green and Joe. yeah i guess dwight's chilling on the bench right now who the hell cares there's 12 seconds left and they're gonna win in six games actually this is the first seed versus the eight seed so shout out to beal and russell for giving them two and denny avita or avdia or whatever the hell mo wagner and laurie marketing look like the spider-man meme i'm not gonna lie it too in 2k at least you know what i mean from this far away 40 and 14 from westbrook beal 26 brooks 11 and Bead had 30 dwight had 30 ben 19 and 4 oh yeah they're making it work I, i've always said though that you know what i mean you don't need to don't even need three point shooting in this game screw three point shooting get your buckets from uh, the paint it's more efficient anyways uh deuce is washington i gotta jump at this real quick okay hold on hold on hold on new orleans with boogie there um there so they were actually the second seed this is se second seed with new orleans against the seventh seeded warriors they have the ball now they're they're up three two in the series right now so warriors just trying to force a game seven but they have the ball down by down by two with three seconds left we see what the hell they're about to do here lonzo's in the game boogie zion i would assume oh my god the pass in alonzo lonzo pulls from deep three whoa oh my god why did he just try to do that to him why did lonzo first of all shout to because it changed lonzo's jump shot back to his original jump shot this man lonzo ball just pulled like this was ucla with the confidence what the hell look at that glitch look at the glitch with his hands what the no wonder 2k changed his jump shot originally look at how this man they don't even know how to how to code this this is gonna be the screenshot of the day for sure this man lonzo ball shooting from 40 over curry not 40 but maybe a cool 35 or something no it's still i don't know man i don't know how the hell how do yo how do the announcers be doing that they're like yo the shot from 17 feet how do you know they have like a, a ruler on like their own special bro i don't know a ruler what, what? yes one ruler that would definitely show you how much 17 feet is um the warriors just forced the game seven wait can i no i need one more screenshot my bad my bad, my bad. just keen and look at the zion despair right behind the warriors just bugging out celebrating i, I kind of okay i like this one yeah yeah big dog clay thompson 28 curry 26 draymond 17 9 and 8 wiseman 16 bledsoe 30 zion 28 bledsoe 30 wow that's was like a notorious not great playoff player either but maybe it could change that let's see I mean, zion is an all-star now are they in the playoff race right now i honestly i just keep track of the east because of my knicks i don't really who the hell cares about the west they're gonna figure it out anyway it's still gonna be eight to eight good teams and probably like four really good teams still miss it somehow our first non-elimination and paul Millsap, old self trying to set up a game seven over here but oh yeah it's not gonna work pretty sure paul Millsap's all-time hawks card is still like 34 years old um 147 119 winners i'm about to cook somebody with monte morris hey yo shabazz napier if you don't oh, okay that's that's definitely why i don't play these actually pretty good at this game though join the twitch streams you can watch me play whenever the hell i feel like it 147 119 win by the los angeles lakers they're gonna take a uh you know what i mean a series well obviously it's six game series win Jokic, paul Millsap, and them are gonna lose and uh marcus all jesus christ how is this team gonna lose right the brooklyn nets they might just do that Jokic 21 i'm actually waiting for like a team that has nothing to do with either brooklyn or the lakers just come through and beat both of these teams Millsap had 20 and 7 but uh marcus all okay lebron had 47 and 14 that's pretty good ad 22 and 7 and Montrez 22 yeah you're pretty good yourself at the six man role now and uh 20 and 10 actually I think he plays six man in real life anyways they still start Gasol I mean this is the same teams anyways just them thrown back and you know I mean they're old forms Deuce is the Denver one last series our trusty steed our game seven Golden State I expected better out of you give you an all-time Curry and all-time Clay which is basically the same thing but then you get Draymond too and you're gonna lose Draymond went up by like 10 overalls you know what I mean Clay 
wide open for three for no reason because the game is over. He missed anyway. Zion board and Zion and Boogie are moving on to the next round. Now it's not that I expect you to beat Zion and Boogie, which you still could have. But I mean, why were you the why were you the seventh seed? Brandon Ingram twenty nine, Boogie twenty eight, Monzo had thirteen, Zion twenty and eleven. Uh, let's see, Curry twenty eight and twelve, Draymond nineteen, Clay fifteen. Yep, yep, yep. None too surprising here. Deuce is the Golden State, and we have the second round now. That's definitely a good thing to advance to. One versus four. Okay, so it just all there was no upsets at all. Okay, that's just fantastic. LA versus Portland. So that's mellow and mellowed. Actually, that's gonna be a lot closer than I think it may be. Or like I would have preemptively thought. Is preemptive a good word to use there? You tell me. So you have mellow versus Braun, and then uh, you know what I mean? Uh, use of Nurkic versus uh, who the hell cares? You get it. Zion and Boogie versus Kawhi and PG, and then obviously Pelicans are just stacked. They have Bledsoe, Ingram, Dwight, Howard, Embiid, and Simmons versus Giannis, Brook Lopez, prime Brook Lopez from the Nets, and Drew and Chris Middleton. Actually, that's gonna be pretty crazy. And then Brooklyn versus Miami. This is prime Iguodala. There's KD, Harden, Kyrie in the entire universe. I didn't even mention any other Heat players. This is going to be a good series in itself. I guess I lied. Brooklyn Nets are about to win game four. A 4-0 sweep. 137-120. I'm sorry, Iguodala and Bam and Goron and all of you. Wait, is that Dion Waiters? No, that's Avery Bradley. What kind of drugs am I? Oh, uh, well, maybe D. D yeah. The joke's right himself around here. Um, okay, Bam. What the hell are you doing, bro? If you don't call a day already. Uh, uh, you know what? You could have. Oh, my, just stop, boys. You know what? You don't even get to see. No, screw you then. Screw you. Screw you. Butler 27. I Achua, Precious Achua, if, if that's your second, if that's your tied for leading scorer, you're not winning the series against this team. Sorry, Precious, but um, Harden 46 and 12, Durant 27. Oh, I actually, Kyrie didn't even have the, I mean, it, what the hell else you got to do when you have those other two guys doing those other two guys type of thing? Demon Shumpert, DNP, and Deuces to Miami. Look at the Pelicans uh, going strong to the conference finals. They said Clippers, we're sorry, we're going to, I think there's like a 4-1 win. Zion with his mean free throw. I love Zion, Zion, bro. I got nothing to, I got nothing to say. I think I tweeted once that I was like, I'm, I'm claiming as, as a new Zion Williamson fan so I can be like one of those guys in like 15 years that acts like they don't like a team, but they just follow LeBron. But then again, most of those people are like kids anyways who've been watching the NBA for like three years. So they haven't even been around. around they've been around like for like, you know what I mean? They've been born for LeBron's entire career, basically. Just be born in LeBron's sophomore season and pick it up with like, like he, they've been there from the jump. Back when he was, you know what I mean? Fighting for his life, fighting for his life. I don't know. Fighting for a home with Gloria. Is that his mom? Uh, Gloria? I don't know, man. 30, 10 and 5 from DeMarcus. 24, 9 and 5 from Zion. Zion. How are you supposed to stop that? I mean, I guess, uh, yeah, actually, no. I mean, Ibaka, hey, you gave, he gave you 22. What else do you want? Oh my God. Paul, why do you always do this? Why are you always so incredible in the regular season? Then you just flop in the playoff. It doesn't make sense to me at this point. I think 2K has some sort of internal, like, look at this. He went from shooting 49% to 43%. That's a pretty big drop off. I'm pretty sure, uh, I remember a few years ago, I think Tim Hardaway Jr. When he, I, for, I was just thinking about that like two days ago. I'm going to get back to simulating, but I was thinking about that like two days ago as deuces to the Clippers. The Knicks now they have all star Julius Randle. We were just like, if it feels like yesterday, we just had Tim Hardaway Jr leading the team and it doesn't feel much different but it feels much different at the same time i believe he was like the lowest percentage 20 plus point score in a like a like some years he shot like 41 percent so 43 is not far off from that paul you ever think about nba players names sometimes like his name is really just paul hey, hey guess what i'm not gonna lie now when i said the heat in the net series i wasn't lying that i thought the series would be good but i kind of you know i mean i whatever it's the nets but this series Giannis has for some reason he just shot a three the milwaukee bucks just won 4-1 over prime dwight howard and that team now not to say that the sixers you know i mean shouldn't they, okay i did kind of just say that they they should just go to the paint and they'll win the entire thing b30 howard 25 harris 25 simmons 30 what else do you want from this team oh my god danny two for eight marking in two for six oh oh for five for matisse vlog man and uh Giannis had 48 10 and 7 on Embiid, and i would love if he just starts doing now he hasn't done this in the playoffs yet in real life i know i was just talking about giving his respect to him sure he definitely needs to you know what i mean sorry but if he does something like this in the playoffs dog and leads into a chance i would love it I'll, he's a cool guy 32 and 10 from bro 17 and 7 from drew Giannis came into the league like soaking wet, like 210 pounds, six foot nine. Giannis, if he really wanted, he could have just been like Trevor Booker or something. But he said, no, I'm going to be the MVP, even though I can't shoot. God told me, no, I'm not going to shoot. He said, I'm still going to be the MVP, for Christ's sake. Philadelphia 76ers, deuces. How we feel about that? Like, is there any possible way that there's like any sort of like, like was Stephen Curry born to be the greatest shooter of all time? Or was it like, you know, I mean, anybody could have been Stephen Curry and he just has like a really good mental. Nah, he had to have been born to be, something's wrong with that, man. Oh, wow. I jumped in out of precaution because I thought that the Lakers were up three to two, but the Trailblazers are actually up three to two. So the Lakers about to tie it up and go to a game seven. Ayo, can I get a mellow bucket real quick? Oh, he's just not in the game. Okay, thanks, 2K. Screw you then. Hey, in game six to force a game seven, LeBron at 34 and 16. I just saw that Melo is uh, averaging 30 points per game in the playoffs. That's pretty good. Reminded me of his, uh, yeah, 31, seven and seven. I love you so much, Melo. Hold on with it. We about to have a classic real quick. Oh yeah. I'm just, I'm just trying to get as close as possible, but yeah, I'll jump in now. I'll jump in. Screw it. Whatever. We'll, we'll check it out. 118, 121. Yusuf Nurkic is the line. Ah, uh, yes, of course.
course, the trusty Steed, Yusuf Nurk is 57%. What the hell is wrong with you? Seeing Trusty. Melo's back in the game. Or actually, might have just been in the game. I don't know. War number 34 for the Trailblazers. What did Lamarcus wear? Lamarcus wore number 12. I don't know who the hell wore number 34. Who the hell cares? Uh, LeBron in the post against Melo. Always got the headband on and everything. LeBron, fadeaway shot is off. Rebound by Nurk. It's definitely a very LeBron shot. He's definitely been perfecting that. More and more his career goes on. This is like a 24 year old LeBron, to be fair. Lillard to the basket. He's going to pull up. Mid range shot is off. Rebound by Harold. 112 left. Lakers ball. And a one point lead for them. 105. Oh, Schroeder. Dennis Schroeder. Wait, I, I always say D. Schroeder, but I just said Schroeder. I don't know, man. I, I'm still, I'm not confused, but I'm not, I'm just too used to saying Schroeder. We're just saying D. Schroeder at this point. LeBron, wide open for three. Is he going to hit it? Oh, no, he missed. I believe he's got like an 86-3 or something, dog. You should have had some good odds there. Lillard, he got the big man on him. Oh, I, I, I heard a really good clip from Gilbert Arenas talking about having the big man mismatch, but now he's going to throw it down to the post anyways. Nurkic over Met Wesley Matthews. That is good. 35 seconds left. Portland leads by one. Like, in case you didn't realize, this is a like game seven for Christ's sake. That was the last thing we I said, you know what I mean, before the last game. Um, oh my God. Whoa, whoa. Nope. Need a replay. Real quick replay. Real quick. First of all, D Schroed, why do you have the 17 engraved in the back of your head? We see it, bro. It's right there. It's right there. Secondly, um, this man, Melo, instead of, first of all, D Schroed, what, what narcotics? You had the you had LeBron in the post right here on Carmelo Anthony. Notoriously, you know, not as the greatest defender. He is pretty strong, though. Not that LeBron also didn't just miss the last shot either, but at the same time, uh, what the hell kind of opening was there? I mean, actually, maybe, maybe. Maybe he just didn't expect Melo to go for it. Hell, I don't even think Montrez in real life would have expected this pass, though. That's the only issue. He would have just went out of bounds, bopped off this man's dome. Melo, though, it's just had stolen by Anthony like it was stolen by Bird. Shout out to the announcers. I like that. Uh, okay, Melo, the first free throw. Why 67% 2K? I'll never know. Maybe they still just going at a normal rate, though, um, as he hits both. Cool. 124, 121. Hello, Melo, Melo. I did say Melo three times for no reason. I just be talking. Melo, 29 on 10 for 20. We like that of you, big dog. LeBron James, down by three points with 21 seconds left. 18 on the shot clock. LeBron goes right all the way to the basket around Nurkic. Oh, man. just He just did that again, huh? Right? Didn't he the last time he did it was in, like, Cleveland or something? I don't know. He might have been the Lakers. It's been a couple years. Uh, okay. Denny Lillard gets fouled. That, that LeBron dunk on Nurkic is, like, one of the best dunks ever, right? I mean, I never really felt... Uh, I don't know. You know I think is better? Like, that one time when Terrence Ross dunked on Kenneth Freed. For some reason, that's my favorite dunk of all time. That's all, though. Maybe, maybe it's not, actually. Maybe it's, like, top five. 126, 123. Montrez and the LeBron. LeBron, 13 seconds left. Pass over to Harrell. Harrell over to Schroeder. Schroeder pulls up for three. That actually was not a bad look at all, but Robert Covington corrals the rebound. I hate when I say corral. It sounds like such a trash word. Trash. Uh, I don't know. If you're trying to make you make yourself feel better because you're saying big vocabulary words, but sometimes just be natural. Damien, though. Hold on. Dame misses a free throw. Still five seconds left. Lakers, if he misses a second one, you got some time. And he hits it. The Portland Trailblazers are going to knock out. Matter of fact, where the hell is Marcus Albin? I'll let the game finish. I'll let the game finish. Wesley Matthews corner three point shot is off. Why didn't you get him the ball earlier? But he, I guess he missed it anyway. 127. This is music I'm hearing. This weird music sounds like a like a nba legend of zelda i don't want to hear this in, in my in, okay 44 from braun 11 assists d showed 25 I mini mean, had a pretty good game i would definitely give him that shot too there's a sound oh he shot four for 10 for three that's not bad though that's not that's 40 percent come on now this feels weird when you miss more than half the shots especially in 2k like your program to make these shots i saw someone comment i always say like yo how do you get a late contest in 2k like you know what i mean you're literally the game like this is the computer as marcus all he didn't foul out he actually had a bad game though so i maybe they just weren't rocking with it people were like what do you want him to make every single shot i'm like okay you have a point but i'm still gonna say 29 from mellow 27 from Melo, 23 from mccollum and uh whatever the hell else is going on here that is the end of the second round deuces to los angeles so we lost both of the la teams and no we still have brooklyn we still have brooklyn the other teams we got new orleans versus portland so it's mellow and dame versus uh zion and this is the same matchup when uh anthony davis was still on the team when they when they beat dame 4-0 yeah good times well i mean not really good times because i don't have bias for either team but yeah i mean i no, actually i always say portland's my second favorite team so it actually wouldn't be good times then brooklyn versus milwaukee you know that's kind of interesting you prime brook lopez versus old brooklyn nets where he was in his prime and Giannis has been going stupid this entire playoff run let me see his stats real quick 29 13 and 8 yeah pretty Giannis ish he's shooting 37 percent from three two okay it's time um i'm not sure what the hell is going on right now these teams have not scored in like a whole minute but i have to jump in anyways because well uh portland Trailblazers Tra 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 are currently down 4-0 oh, not 4-0 because oh, the game isn't over but um oh they fouled lonzo 11 team foul what the hell have you been doing is rasheed wallace on the team there goes lonzo yeah Yep, missing the free throws. Uh, okay, and Lonzo just missed both free throws. Cancer rebound. Hold on. Wait, pause. Portland is down 3-0 in the series. A shot here would save their series. If not, the the Pelicans are going to the finals. Zion, hello. Uh, Lillard, he, uh, McCollum is wide open. Left. Wait, he's not wide open anymore, but he still hits the mid-range shot. I thought he was going to go to the three-point line. That probably would have made him wide open, but he didn't go to the three-point line. He went to the mid-range, but I guess he hit it, so that works. 111-111. New Orleans had a timeout. They take it to advance. Four seconds left. Just about a little under. I mean, I can't really round up when there's only three points five left. You know
you know i mean it's not like it's like oh six minutes and 59 seconds zion's the player of the game who do they have on portland to stop not really many people him or the boogie 11 111 111 3.5 seconds left boogie he's gonna pass in the ball to brandon ingram ingram he goes around mellow he pulls up fading three it's all for going ot okay first ot this entire thing at least that i've seen i still got the green tea on right on deck it's ready it's here probably a little bit colder now because i kind of forgot about it even though it's sitting right in front of me because i'm stupid jump ball and is that is back on the yeah he is back on the pair of players here there's another player on my fantasy team that i actually forgot what team he was on fun fact i have an ns cancer autograph in my room i've probably mentioned that before i definitely have mentioned that before i talk too much 124 125 portland up by one right now but the pelicans have the ball that's an alonzo ball who just tried to end curry oh my god what the hell was that what was that now you're trying to end your team's career i don't even need a replay i was perfectly vivid what what uh perfectly vividly experienced the hell out of that stupid lonzo ball pass they still have a timeout though they're down by three 21 seconds left. lonzo ball does not make a lot of stupid passes either uh yes right boogie cousins passing the ball th with 21 seconds left pass into brandon ingram ingram now 19 seconds left he gets a screen from boogie going right all the way to the basket layup and one no he misses the layup but he does indeed draw the foul and well when ingram makes his way to the line the first free throw is off what is wrong with you you're five for nine from three if you didn't just pull up, pull up from three in the first place okay cj just missed a second free throw hold on three point deficit still for the pelicans back over to lonzo lonzo pulls up from deep and he misses lonzo what kind of confidence was instilled with him is, is that lavar this man is showing that half of his genetics right now real 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 just real prominently i was about to say vividly again oh it's safe to say as lillard i don't yeah no get me the hell out of here they want they won uh, but that means that portland stays alive for another day was mellow fouled out because he okay he had five foul i mean yeah i didn't see no nah, he probably was in i don't know there's him getting a rebound so he had to have been in the game i just wasn't really paying attention 22 from mccollum lily had 13 only really okay zion 34 ingram okay great great whatever it's not the final game see i was about to become sad that not sad but regretful that i that the team that signed boogie is about to make the finals but then i remember that they beat the clippers the clippers weren't really that fun anyways and now the trailblazers were the team that beat the lakers not like the pelicans beat the lakers anyways i thought the lakers were going to go to the finals but if zion and boogie go make the finals then that's what's gonna have to be because the trailblazers beat the lakers and then lose to them we are as lonzo's gonna miss another two free throws of course uh let's see portland can still make the comeback lonzo misses both free throws Melo gets the board Melo, what the hell was that spin move was there any point to that i don't know he's got zion on him over to dame dame's a good player to shoot threes or cj cj contested oh my god he almost made it. lonzo he's gonna get fouled again let's see if he misses both again Melo just fouled out lonzo the first free throw is good 24 percent that's that's kobe bro and lonzo the second one is off it's yep yeah, it's over Cantor throws it up and that is it smart throw by Cantor, by the way paul throw up what smart heave we'll say heave a pause but i mean i was just what the hell was i saying get boogie basking in his i mean hey i think people like to see boogie doing good in general at least 25 from ingram 23 from boogie 18 from imagine boogie signs at the lakers like a week after this video is posted i know that's about to happen or blake griffin's gonna go somewhere and people get pissed off I, 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 I. mello 31 cj 24 but uh yeah deuces to the portland Trailblazers. the pelicans are moving on to the finals zion williamson brandon ingram prime eric bledsoe prime jj reddick prime demarcus cousins and last but not least it was bound to happen the milwaukee bucks are going to fall to the brooklyn nets and 134 120 or whatever score who the hell he just hit a free throw as i was talking to try and piss me off nicholas claxton carried the hell out of this nets team of course harden and his hardens because they're pretty distinct you know i mean the white and white and black shoes that are like half white and half black looking like an oreo uh Kyrie hits a three for absolutely no reason because probably he didn't want to avoid the shot clock the brooklyn nets advance to the nba finals a four to two series win over the milwaukee bucks grind up from from the grind up what that weak that weak catchphrase i'm sorry this isn't even look at miles turner looking real lifeless in the background miles turner don't even want to be here you want to be in indiana they over here they got him in the ninth the man spot 30 from brooke 24 from Giannis. 18 from k mid 13 from holiday 30 from Harden. 29 Kyrie. 27 kd 20... all right great great whatever basketball deuces milwaukee they're the hell you basking in the sadness as you watch them hoist up the trophy congrats kd you're back in the finals for the 26th time at this point the pelicans versus nets 90 zion 90 demarcus 80 lonzo 87 eric bledsoe and 87 ingram with jj reddick off the bench i guess first 95 Kyrie, 97 james harden 98 kd still jeff green starting and deandre jordan prime clippers dunk over brandon knight deandre jordan here the hell goes nothing the new orleans pelicans have won game one 30 and 12 from harden 28 from Kyrie, and 28 from kd and 21 from my guy spencer dinwiddie uh, i was just about to say bitcoin man but i decided to change it to my guy instead i can't even call him bitcoin i got money in 
Bitcoin now, though. <laughs> 32 from Ingram, 24 from Zion, 19 from Demarcus, 18 from JJ, 17 from Bled. They are able to beat. Wow, they had every single player who scored except for Josh Hart, who had zero in double figures. Every single player. That's impressive. Why did you play four centers in Zion, though? I don't understand that one. But hey, you won, you won in the final. Let's tell you about the big man game interior. So Brooklyn was just down by like eight points, but they decided to surge all the way the hell back. Shout out to Baca, and they're down by one point with, or actually, no, they're up by one point with 131 left. Pass into right Jeff Green over to Harden. Harden spin move around Zion. Step back. Mid range shot was awful. Absolutely awful. But DeAndre rebound. DeAndre down low. Back out to KD. Number 35 KD. Now he passed over to uh, Jeff Green. Jeff Green down to DeAndre. DeAndre now he's going to pass it back out to Jeff Green. That You have four other players that should have taken the shot on the floor right now, but you decided no, no, we just want Jeff Green. Not that Jeff Green's bad, but I mean, you have Kevin Durant and whatever. Who cares? Lonzo Ball steps uh, or wait, what? I don't know. Down to Boogie. Boogie against DeAndre. 2014 esque matchup the post hook oh oh my god 97 percent contested first lead tonight they're lying they're just saying that because we're in the game now why is zion guarding harden they have like zion at the, they have zion at the two right now they have willie hernan gomez on kevin durant oh 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 harden gets blocked by was that was that willie again they're supposed to actually pronounce his name billy by the way in case you want to know uh zion opening the corner back over to willie willie to cousins cousins out to lonzo they setting up steven adams in the post no lonzo gets screened down to boogie again boogie eight seconds left goes between the legs boogie out here giving the move so boogie takes the fadeaway shot that's off zion tried to put it back you saw you see zion trying to get his bunnies ready but it, it, he got blocked off imagine you get an over a back foul and a put back i'm waiting for zion to have to like hit the meanest dunk of all time in the nba 21 seconds left passing to hard and harden now they're down by one see obviously in case you didn't catch on this is game two right I, I, I mean i didn't have to say that we're going game by game here it's the finals jeff green open for three and it is all through orleans now as ingram is finally going to take free throws because lonzo i don't think he's in the game maybe ingram the first free throw is green lonzo is still in the game but ingram the second free throw is also green much better outcome Pelicans have made it all the way here even though we've watched like 17 miss lonzo ball free throws and missed threes to be fair kd has room in the corner he pulls up for three it's off he had all the room in the world why did he just swing it up so far to lonzo what the hell why would you risk that boogie i guess because he knows the 2k coding and uh yep 131 128 win by the new orleans pelicans take a 2-0 lead in the finals if you beat why is kd's one eye closed shout out fetty well. no seriously why is he still doing that 39 and 7 from kd 27 and 10 Dinwiddie 26 25 from Kyrie dog you get all the scoring in the world except for just about everybody else in this team Ingram 36 Lonzo 16 he played very well himself I can't I can disrespect his free throw shooting but not him Boogie 16 and 14 dog if you guys beat this team you got all my respect nobody's been able to beat this team even Milwaukee took out the first seed then lost to Brooklyn because Brooklyn is really really good but now uh, let's see let's see New Orleans dog this team is on a different type of they're going to take a 3-0 lead KD had 20 on 7 for 17 which in the final you would expect a little bit more points or more efficient from KD, I guess. I don't know. Kyrie also, so they all hit seven field goals. Okay, all three of their big three, but um, they lose by almost 30 points to Demarcus's 30. Steven Adams, 29. What kind of? He had 29 in 21 minutes, dog. You don't even run plays for Steven Adams. He's just getting offensive rebounds and hitting enough pick and roll. Ingram, 23. Redick, 15. Mr. Billy, 12. Not a Billy and Mandy. Uh, 10 from Zion Williamson, 8 from Lonzo Ball, 6. Wow, yep, yep, yep. 3 0 lead for the pelicans though dog this is this is art right here i don't know how the hell they're doing this i mean i do because they have a really good wow are you kidding i'm not even gonna take control i can't even I, i'm in i'm in too much all oh, your nba champions in a game four four oh sweet the new orleans pelicans over the, the, the dog brooklyn you got you got deandre jordan not that he's like i mean he kind of is though you got him guarding boogie instead of i don't know anybody else in fairness whenever he's down the well actually no you have miles turner too so i don't know what else to say i was about to say when he's off the floor who you got at center kd or jeff green but no, um, or Nick Ka and Nick Claxton, but yeah, Marcus Cousins and the New Orleans Pelicans and and Zion and Eric Bledsoe and all these all these guys, they win their NBA championship. Their first actually, all those guys. I think I just listed. As Boogie went to that Warriors team and got injured and still lost somehow. That team was God sent. Kawhi said no. People would disrespect Kawhi too much nowadays too. But I think people, nah, nah, uh, yeah, no. People, uh, what? Who the hell cares? Who cares? Who cares really? Who the hell doesn't get disrespected at this point? I guess is there much point of respect without disrespect anyways? Brandon Ingram is the Finals MVP. This. Yeah, he kind of was. He, he kind of was. Uh, he dropped like 36 in the game where nobody else had like 10. Look at Boogie, happy as all living hell, back in New Orleans. The second stint. Isn't he like from New Orleans or something? I know that he was pissed when he got traded from Sacramento, but I think he was like from. The, I don't know. I should know. I did do a hometown players video. I don't remember. Hernan Gomez, 21. Dog, what was wrong with these centers? The, these centers forget Boogie. Dog, Willie Hernan, Billy Willie. What? 10 for 12, 20 and 6 from Zion, 19, 7 and 5 from Ingram. What is going on? Two from Jackson Hayes.
Hayes, zero from Josh Hart. We don't need nothing. Okay, sorry, Jackson Hayes. 35 from Harden, eight for 21, 24, seven and six from KD. Kyrie, 22, Dinwiddie, five for 14. Jeff Green, two for nine. Miles Turner, one for six. That's a defense in this team. I didn't even think about it. No, I already know. Billy was on my Knicks, dog. He, that's why I know how to pronounce his name. He's not good at defense. Zion's actually been having a weaker defensive season. I don't know if he, I don't know if they upgraded his defense to 2K though, or downgraded, I should say. Bledsoe's a great defender. He's an all defensive player. Ingram is lanky as all living hell. Lon's a great defensive player. Boogie's not a good defensive player. Uh, JJ Redick is not good at defense. Steven Adams is old. I don't know how they did it. I really, I, Willie Hernan Gomez. That is, yep. Over Brooklyn. But it's not even about the win. It's about 4 0. 28, 7, and 6 from Brandon Ingram, the finals MVP. Can I see you led the league in playoff stats? LeBron, Melo, Lillard, Curry, and Beal in points. Rebounds is a Gobert, Drummond, Giannis, a Bam, and Kevin Love in assists. LeBron, Chris Paul, Steph Curry, James Harden, and Ben Simmons. Okay. How long is this video right now? Okay. You know what I mean? I, I'm going to go, I'm going to go one more season. I think I'm going to, uh, let's just see, dog. You'll see. I didn't even put JJ Burry in his prime, and he's still, oh, he got signed to the Pelicans. They got JJ Burry a ring too. Wow. Okay, he already has one, but who the hell cares? You can get more rings. It's probably a good thing, right? Look at how many little players retired just because of the fact that I put everybody back in the prime. Well, I would have put Tyson Chandler back. I, I did not see him. I mean, he's a 72 overall. I guess he's not on the team anymore. I would have put him back. There's an all time, or not all time, but there's a Tyson Chandler on the like 2011 Knicks or something. Even the Mavericks from around that time, I think I have a team in 2K. However, I couldn't find nothing for him. And Joe Keem retired. I didn't see him either, but he retired in real life. So whatever. We care about the NBA draft. I guess, yeah, who the hell? I mean, it's one year. Cade Cunningham on the Pacers. He traded for Miles Turner. So there you go. Or vice versa, whatever. You traded him away. Uh, there's your there's your reward. And over the hell? Oh, look, James Boone Knight to the Knicks. I've been getting tagged in so much James Boone Knight stuff. It's nuts. Because he was in that Derrick Rose video. I respect it, though. I like it. I like, you know what I mean? Information is cool. All right, let's see what Fred is about now. LeBron, Kawhi, Chris Paul, D Rose, Melo, Dwight, Paul. Oh, my God. Here we go. I'm going to try not to waste too much time. Everybody should be signed. IT didn't get signed. Really? Can I, can I go two more days or something? One more day, two more? Oh my God, I missed the cool screen where I could see everything. Okay, you know what? Actually, this is better off. We're just gonna go through the teams real quick. Nets seemingly got everybody back. Actually, let me just go to the regular season because I know stuff is weird. Stuff may change real quick. Okay. Season numero dos. Get the hell through here. Dwight Howard is gone off the Sixers. We know that for sure. Brooke Lopez is back. Whatever. Marcus Aldridge is on the Bulls with Zach Levine, Colby White, and uh, so and, and Dennis Schroeder. Kevin Love is still in the Cavs. I don't see anybody else here. Just about uh, Thomas Bryant. Sure. Celtics still seem pretty intact. Kawhi is gone from the Clippers. Grizzlies got, seems like they got a Baca. Malik Beasley's on the Hawks. Their team, oh wait, they lost Rondo. Iguodala's still here. Goron's still here. Okay. Melo is on the Charlotte Hornets with LaMelo Ball. Oh my God, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Yo, the, the Twitter stuff. And now look, here's the thing, right? I've told you a plethora of times how much I love Carmelo Anthony. And yes, he should be the Melo or whatever. But who, dog, it's their name. I don't care which one you call Melo. I just ask you, Yo, you talking about LaMelo or you talking about Carmelo? You don't need to make it 17 viral tweets about, oh, I would never... Yo, if you yo, if you, if you over the age of 25, you gotta call Mellow. Call Mello. yo, I, it's not that serious. You don't relax. I hate Twitter. I hate it. Every video, I tell you one more reason. The Knicks lost D Rose, but they have Chris Paul. If just the rest of the team, just about the same in Willie Cauley style. Lakers still have everybody except they lost a couple role players, but they still have their big three. Michael Carter Williams is still in the Magic. Boogie is now on the Mavericks with Luca and Porzingis. We just won't talk about it. I mean, he might have just not been getting his back from the Pelicans. Hey, hey, I mean, hey. It is not a minimum, to be fair, or something of that nature. Nets, like I said earlier, were the same. Nuggets still got Millsap. The Pelicans replaced Boogie with Rondo. Another player used to be on their team that they have, I guess, brought back effectively. But it seems like Lonzo is gone, but I guess Rondo isn't. You know what I mean? That's a bit of an improvement. Derrick Rose is back on the Pistons with Prime Blake Griffin. That These two reunite with Okafor. That, that team might actually be kind of scary now. Entrez went to the Raptors. Just going to skip the Rockets of the exact same. Spurs now have Dwight, Gordon Hayward, and that's about it. Everything else is the same. Nicholas Batum too. And Della Dova. Look at all these players getting their bag. Okay, so Dwight, we already saw the numbers he was averaging next to Joel Embiid, who might win the MVP this season in real life. So give him the entire front court to himself almost with Gordon Hayward and Rudy or something. Phoenix Suns, they lost Chris Paul and they got DeMar DeRozan. Awful trade-off. DeMar is cool, but awful trade-off. He's a very good playmaker though. So, I mean, he, he's grown into a really, really good playmaker. So I guess he could play some point forward. Kawhi went to the OKC Thunder with Shea. That should be interesting. That is now a 99 overall Kawhi. Timberwolves, uh, they got Capella, sure. Trailblazers, we already seen Melo left for the Hornets. Curry, Clay, and Dre in them. They still have about the same team with Andre Roberson now here. And the Wizards are the exact same, thankfully for them. You know, Russell Westbrook's gonna be getting his, I mean, buckets or whatever. I mean, he was in the playoffs. Will they make it to the second round or something? Let's simulate now. Since we're already pretty deep in the video, I'm probably gonna run this season back like I normally do if we go, I go if I go to a second season in videos like this. I'll probably just run it back a little more leniently so we get to like the conference finals or whatever. I say for this video, for this season, I meant this. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about anymore. Okay, here's the all star teams for this year. Hey, look, Mike Conley, one time all star. Sorry from that um jaws here and everything else probably pretty similar to what it was last year right i 
can uh Derek Rose is starting. Was he starting last year? Don't remember. Derek Rose even on here last year? Yeah, he definitely was. But it's Derek Rose for Christ's sake. You better figure it out. Look at Dwight Howard, number one in the MVP rates. Like I said, he's the entire offense now in San Antonio, or, or except for Gordon Hayward, obviously. And LeBron is still actually averaging better numbers than he did last year, but um probably because they took a couple of his role players. So now he has to, you know what I mean, go 2018 Cavs plus two uh you know what I mean superstars. That's a prime marker so very, very fun player to watch. Dwight Howard is the most viable player, 29 and 17 a game with three blocks, 61 from the field, 69 from the line. Okay, Cunningham, 17. I don't care. Isaiah Thomas, six million a year. He signed with the Portland Trip. Wait, he's behind Dame. But who else? Did they just lose Melo? So, I mean, hey, that's a, that's a solid. I mean, it's not as good as Melo because Melo was averaging like 30, 10, and 10 last year. So, Tyrese Maxi most improved. Were they lose Simmons? No, they didn't. Maybe they're starting Simmons at like the four now, though, since they lost Dwight. Spolstra is the coach of the year. Oh, wow. He took a little jump up. First team, Dwight is here with CP, Doncic, LeBron, and uh, Mr. Giannis. Second team, Curry, Rose, Kawhi, Durant, and Embiid. Third team, Westbrook, Ben Simmons, Jason Tatum, Kevin Love, and Nikola Jokic. How was Ben doing this year? Uh, yeah, Ben numbers. Ben numbers for sure. Great, great stuff. Chris Paul, defensive team, he's averaging 24 and 14 this year for the Knicks. Second team, Mitchell Robinson. Ah, my guy. I seen. Sh I think Shaq just called him like, like I don't know. I think Shaq, they did like a name that NBA player's first name, and Shaq called Mitchell Robinson, Stuart Robertson. He called Emmanuel quickly Gerard. I don't know how he's remembered both of those so vividly, but whatever. All right, so here the hell is the playoff picture. Brooklyn versus New York, Chicago versus Cleveland. That's, uh, I don't remember the teams anymore, I'm gonna be honest. I, I know Chicago got somebody, though. Uh, I'll read off, you know, I mean, we'll, we'll get back to the rest of these in a set. Ooh, okay, C, first C with Kawhi, okay. They weren't even that crazy. Like, you know, I mean, they just got Kawhi. Everything else is the same. Any crazy signings? Oh, Lonzo didn't get it. Yeah, I guess a lot of these players did go back to their prime, so that, you know, I mean, forces a lot of these guys to not get their contracts on time. Alonzo tree for New Orleans Noel. Ooh, how would the Spurs trade a good player for, a, I mean, a, a younger player when they're already, okay. If Dwight, bro, you should prioritize yourself. Uh, Tobias Harris got traded for TJ Warren. Shout out to Tobias Harris, my fellow Long Island native. I was about to say I'm probably the most excited to ever hear about Tobias Harris, and it's not only because of my Long Island bias. I couldn't care less, but I just was, I'm just loud sometimes. And most of the trades are usually just like Isaac Okoro for like, I don't know, Denzel Valentine. League leaders in points. You got Donovan Mitchell, 33, Kawhi, 32, LeBron, 31, and Curry and Dwight rounded out. Rebounds Dwight by a whole three over DeAndre. Then Kevin Love, Giannis, and Vucevic. Chris Paul and assist, almost two over Rondo, but then Rondo, Curry, LeBron, and Doncic. Leader in field goals. I already knew it was going to be Zion. We already know it's every single year it's going to be Zion. And then Bryn Forbes in three-point percentage. I was surprised he was in the Bucks. I was watching a Bucks game. Um, I thought the Spurs would have kept. I don't know how the hell that happened. That must have been one of the weeks that I turned off Twitter. I just sporadically turn off my Twitter notifications sometimes so I don't feel like having like Woj control my life. So he were the first seed with the same exact team, basically. And Iguodala, Iguodala plays off the bench. Wow, yeah, that is true, I guess. He's small forward slash power forward. Really, huh? Was he that when he was on the... No, he definitely wasn't that when he was on the Sixers. This is, of course, all time Sixers Iguodala. Miles Turner is now starting for the Nets for better or worse. I don't know. So the Bulls would prime LaMarcus Aldridge, giving him 21 and 8, a light 21 and 8. Levine's probably still leading them. Yeah. The mellow led Hornets, the double mellow led Hornets are up. You know, I mean, they're four. Trey Young, Bogdan, DeAndre, and them. They they made it to the playoffs with Ricky Rubio. I don't really care. Um, Cleveland Cavaliers. Kevin Love makes it back. New York. Thank you, Chris Paul Emmanuel quickly. Thank you very much, Julius Randle. How are you? And Prime Kyle Lowry and Pascal Siaka make it, but Boston missed it. Milwaukee missed it. How the hell is that possible? I don't even know. I don't got an answer for you. Uh, they still have everybody, right? I don't see anybody really gone, at least from the core four that they have now with Brooke. I know they lost Bobby Portis. Maybe the Sixers missed it without Dwight. Laurie Markin is starting in the trade of Tobias Harris. Michael Carter Williams, Detroit Pistons, Derek Rose and Blake missed it. They were awful. Russell and Beal missed it. Did they, did they make the playoffs last year? I can't remember now. And the Pacers, they were the worst team in the league last year too. So screw it. Take Tobias and be bad again. The Clippers were awful with just Paul George and no Kawhi, which I mean, this team looks pretty similar to like the teams that they used to have back in the Pacers. So I don't know. Zubac, can you be your Roy Hibbert? Actually, no, I think I think Lance used to come off the bench though. They traded for Marcus Smart too. But hey, Lou Will could be your Lance. I don't know, man. Shout out to Lance Stevenson, wherever he is now. Wow, where is Lance Stevenson? I have no clue. He was only like 32 or 33, right? I don't know. The Hornet. When, once he went to the Hornets, his career was over. And like it's been like seven years since. Suns were trash, kind of expected that. Kings were trash, kind of expected that. Nuggets were not able to make it. Old oh, man Millsap. Rockets were bad again somehow, even though John Wall's pretty good. Mavericks. Wait, what? Okay, so we have our verdict that Boogie's team was not because that Pelicans team did not win because of Boogie, because now they missed the playoffs, or I should say the Mavericks missed the playoffs, even though they have Luka, Porzingis, and Boogie. This team has a better core. I, it was the bench. It was the bench for that Pelicans team. Portland, Lillard, McCollum, yada, yada. They they miss it with, with Isaiah off the bench and Nasir Little starting instead of Carmelo Anthony, which is a pretty big drop off. Okay, I'm tired of reading out teams. Let's, let's do the playoffs. Now for this, I'm just going to simulate. I'm going to get first round the hell up out of here and we can focus on past that. Chicago gets quick 4-0 swept by the Kevin Love led Tim, or not Timberwolves, Cavs. But you know, he's from the Timberwolves, of course. Golden State gets what? Uh, uh, wait, 
Wait, whoa. See the Lakers on the top left. About a 4 0 sweep. The, okay, okay. Wait, Lakers are the eight seed? Oh, for Christ's sake. But yeah, Golden State gets 4 0 swept by, ironically, the Timberwolves. So wait, the Timberwolves have nobody. The Timberwolves just got Clint Capella and they're that good. The Thunder get 4 0 swept in the first round by the Lakers. That is just stupid. I mean, not stupid because the Lakers are the Lakers, but that is just nuts. The Atlanta Hawks, deuces to you. I don't have no, any, much connection to you at all. Uh, Utah, goodbye. Don't really care. New York, really? There goes my team with my connection. But okay, they lost 4 to the Nets. So the Nets are the Nets. And Memphis, they, they had nobody either. They lost to New Orleans, though. Ooh, New Orleans is still the second seed without Boogie and with Rondo. Okay. Actually, even better in terms of seed. Actually, no, they're the same. They're the same. And Miami gets eliminated. The Miami was the first seed, too. Remember that one time where Kyle Lowry hit the half court shot against Miami? Fantastic times. Or just good times, old times, whatever, reminiscent times. So we're really, are they really good times or are they just reminiscent times? Lowry is able to, what, what is this? Game seven, Kyle Lowry. Hero was the leader for this team. Everybody else, I mean, Butler kind of choked. Iguodala kind of choked. Sorry. We're going to move on now, though. And then the other side, I don't need to say much for the fact that uh, LeBron, AD, and Marcus all beat Kawhi, Al Horford, and Shea. I don't know how the hell this team is so... I really... I genuinely don't know how the hell this team is so good. And they still had a reason. George Hill, cool role players, but I mean, yeah, whatever. I held it down better for an entire season. Kawhi during his load management, which he hasn't been doing mu that much anymore. That's a Kawhi feeling healthy. So now, I mean, there was a lot of... Last year, there was no upsets. This year, a lot of upsets. I'm happy I'm still here for another one. Minnesota, deuces, bro. I was not about to jump in 4-1. Go ahead. Get the hell up out of here. I don't even know. Dog, why are you in this good? Anthony Edwards, yeah. He actually... Wow. Look at Anthony Edwards' stats, especially in the playoffs. I mean, Towns is Towns, 17 and 12. He actually is having a pretty bad playoffs himself. And now, well, yeah, they're out of here. D'Angelo's been having a great playoffs. Who is this? Jalen Green. Shout out to them. For him, I should say. Uh, Malik. Wait, what? They traded for Malik Beasley back? You traded him last year and then traded back for him this year. Sure. Malik, the Malik Beasley Chronicles continue. Okay, this is a pretty close game. So Toronto has the ball tied game, 29 seconds left. And guess what? They're currently up four or three, three. Wait, it's game five. So they're up 3 1. 3 1 to the Hornets. Now let's see. Kyle Lowry fakes the mid range shot, but Lamelo's pretty tall. Uh, Fred Van Villa, you have a lot of room right now. You kind of just dropped 50 not too long ago in real life, at least. Lowry for three. Oh, my God. 3-1 lead, like I said, for the Raptors. And I just saw Montrez on the court, too. That was their addition. Montrez might be kind of cool in the Raptors. The energetic guy, him and Pasca, whatever. Is that Eric Spolster? Hold on, hold on. Look at the dude. Oh, why they change the camera angle? Nah, let me let me replay. This does not look like Eric Spolster at all. But why Eric Spolster part of the camera crew, bro? I mean, I guess he was. He used to be in the film room for the Heat about 30 years ago. I worked his way up. Well, I mean, then again, you're still in the film room when you're a coach. But you know, he, he was genuinely, I think he was, what was he, providing the film? Wow, look at Montrez. 30 on 14 for 18. Okay, providing the spark. He I, Maybe he helped out the Lakers a little bit too. Well, actually, the Lakers are still doing just fine. At least for now. Melo down by three over. LaMelo for three. He has room. It is good. LaMelo ball. 108-108. Toronto has no timeouts left. Lowry bringing it up. Seven seconds left. Kyle Lowry now. He's going to get the screen from... Oh, he's not. No, he passed over to Van Vliet. Van Vliet for three, and he misses. They take the timeout with 0.6 seconds left. PJ Washington secures the rebound. He corrals the rebound. I'm going to say it again. Why the hell not? Okay, he's getting kind of nuts out here. 0.6 seconds left. Zeller. He's going to pass in the ball to Melo in the corner. Gets the shot off, and it is off. I don't know if he even got it off or going to OT regardless. We're not even going to replay it. Screw it. The Hornets little silhouette logo. Oh, God. Why do I keep saying the word silhouette? Okay. Uh, yeah, they, that, they look kind of cool in the court. That's all I got to know. 33 seconds left. Toronto. Are they going to foul real quick? I'm pissed off you foul and waste my time because I'm just going to sim cast again if you foul. Maybe I won't. Uh, let's see. Okay, they're not fouling. Three-point lead for the Raptors. The Raptors, they, they are on the... They could win it right here. Whoa, what just happened? A legal screen by Pascal. Why were you even screening? What was there to screen? Someone look at that. I don't know. Hornets. I mean, actually, you know what? It might have been pretty impactful. Uh, should I even replay this? Actually, yeah. He goes to screen Jordan Clarkson. He just bodies the hell out of him. Van Vliet was wide open and about to get the pass, probably, unless Lowry was stupid and didn't look behind him. Okay, Pascal. I see you, bro, trying to get away with that. But no, Jordan Clarkson sold it. Literally sold it. Not like he didn't sell. You know what I mean? You, you know the difference, unless you don't. Cody Zeller into Mello. What the hell? Why are you doing this timeout thing? It has to, it's a video lead thing, at the very least. It doesn't happen too often, actually, but it happens. Happens, though it definitely happened. Oh, yeah, it always is nice when they're playing the 2K, 2K14 My Career music. I love it. Hold on, into Mello. Mello, he's got three seconds left, and LaMelo is right behind him because that's the other Mello. Mello shoots a fadeaway three. It is completely off. That was so dumb. Lowry, show me one made free throw, and I'm simulating the hell up out of here. Lowry, the first free throw green. Ayo, I'm gone. Toronto Raptors said, Ayo, deuces to the Charlotte Hornets. Toronto with absolutely no additions except for, I guess, whatever. Or, well, they, they signed Montrez. Really, no additions. Moving on to the conference finals. While the Hornets had LaMelo and Melo. There's 11 seconds left. Ooh, and I believe the Spurs are... I didn't I didn't peep who they're actually playing against, but I believe the Spurs are up right now in the series. 11 seconds left. 108-113 lead for the Spurs. I believe the Spurs are the team that was winning this game right now. Yes, yeah, Spurs up 3-2. It says on the bottom right real quick. Zion misses the second free throw. They're going to have to foul, right? Over to Vassell. He, he gets fouled, I guess. I don't know. Okay, he's not going to line yet.
that. But yeah, I don't even really care about this stuff though. Hey, yo, let me let me get out of here. But it looks like the Pelicans are about to lose in the second round. Oh, that's Dwight. My brain was programmed to believe it was we were playing against some um, or whatever. They were playing against Lamarcus Aldridge. But no, the Dwight Howard led team is about to beat the Zion and Brandon Ingram led team. Let me get the hell out of here if I can. Oh yeah. Oh my God. What is it? Point two seconds left. Yep. Eric Bledsoe. Good luck on that full court shot. Um, it didn't go in anyways. But um, number thirty five. Dw yo, Dwight for like the past five years has been picking picking mad random numbers. He went from D12 to D whatever the hell. 29 and 20 from Dwight. 19 from Devin. 15 from Rudy. 12 from Matthew. Ah, 11 from Murray. Luka Samanik. 9, 10, and 6. But yeah, Brandon Ingram, the last year's finals MVP, had a good game and so did Zion. 9 for 10 shooting. But this team, I mean, I'm not gonna say, you know what I mean? Oh, Rondo. That's your replacement? Bro had 1 for 9 shooting, 9 assists, and they're going to lose second round. Okay, deuces to New Orleans. Dwight, hello, how are you? We got two 8 seeds in the conference finals and AO, we might be adding a 6. Cleveland is up in this series right now. I love how this play... I'm, I'm liking how this run is going even more than the last run, honestly. Actually, I didn't like how the last run went, but I can't control this stuff. It happens. But then again, Brooklyn made to the finals. Like how that... Look, dog. It's not even... It, this is just nuts. KD 43, but no. Colin Sexton got 27 on your domicile, bro. If you don't hop to the sidelines... Wait, what's the score right now? I didn't even check. Wait, how, what's the deficit? Oh, it's only a six-point lead. Hold on. I I got. I can't take control of this. They're going to foul and waste my time. Yeah, never mind. I, I'm not waiting, though. They're still going to foul and waste my time. Ayo, Brooklyn, dog. It's up for you, big dogs. It's up. 136, 130 win for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Sexton, 27. Garland, 21. Thomas Bryant, 21. Kevin Love only had 14, but it doesn't matter because Sexton is God in this game. The Sexland duo, as uh, literally the Cavaliers Twitter has coined it. Um, that, That's the duo that led them to, uh, the, what is this? 40, 48 points? Why did the Brooklyn Nets logo just pop up? Matt, Matt Big. KD, 46 on 10, for, 16 for 25 shooting. He had a great game. Anybody on this team struggle at all? Uh, Bruce Brown, I don't really care. The Cavs just scored more points. There was about no defense playing this game. Brooklyn Nets deuces. Both of the teams that went to the finals last year are gone, and the teams that are in the conference finals, I believe, are completely different. Yep. I didn't even plan to really simulate any second round games like that, but we just got spoon-fed them. Although, actually, it only really only much happened in one of them. Or actually, I don't even remember anymore. What the hell happens in these videos anyway? Cleveland versus Toronto. That is basically, it's just Kevin Love, and that's it, really. Like, the entire rest of the series. Oh, and Andre Drummond's, like, slightly better. And San Antonio versus LA. So, that is Dwight Howard and Gordon Hayward. I can't forget about him. So, that's, it's obviously much better than having DeMar and, um, and Lamarcus. You got them two, Devin Vassell and DeJounte. How is Devin Vassell? He just seems like he'd be a great, I don't know him too well, but I know he's a good three-point shooter. Is he a great defender too? You know what I mean? You got the defense on the, on the, on the uh, I'm just going to guess. You got the defense of the wings from Vassell and DeJounte. DJ Carden. Why do I feel like the Lakers always just get the most random starting point guards by year two of every single simulation I've ever done? Oh man, it ain't, it ain't working out well. Whatever, whoever the hell it is, DeJounte Murray is clamping him up out here. I'm about to control whatever team I land on. Oh, watch, you're going to be the Lakers? Oh no, I got the Spurs. The San Antonio Spurs are going to win. It's, hold on, I'm going to clamp LeBron while I'm not even looking. Ah, come on, LeBron. You're going to got those. Who is that? D oh, Matthew Deladova. Give me the three. Why is his... What the hell? Okay. Did he not have a three-point shot? I don't know. In, in, at least in modern day, I don't know what the hell they've done to Deladova, but he had no type of meter on that three-point shot. But guess what? The San Antonio Spurs are moving on to the NBA Finals. Dwight Howard. See, that's cool. You got go Spurs go on the chair. Like, it's not... What the hell was the, the, the Brooklyn Brooklyn one? I didn't even check the New Orleans one. I don't even remember it. Was that the, is that Chris Boucher? Is that Chris Boucher in the back? Oh, no, that's Lonnie Walker. How you doing, Lonnie Walker? I don't know who that is in the back bag, though. That's a complete auto-generated player who is not very enthusiastic probably doesn't even have it like modeled into him to be enthusiastic lebron had 43 wow ad had 10 on 4 for 17 i'm just gonna guess dwight was switched on to him if not who could have been guarding him rudy if you did that on rudy i'm so disappointed in you oh kuzma had more points on better efficiency than him and gasol had a good enough game he had no assist really gasol when was the last time mark gasol had no assist probably like last year he doesn't play too many minutes anymore the la lakers deuces to you yet again back to back not making it to the finals despite your incredible big three somehow i don't think cleveland's up in this series oh i'm i'm incredibly stupid okay no i thought toronto was up i didn't jump in but the cleveland cavaliers what what, what is there what do you think their their catchphrase their mantra could have been on their shirts i don't know i guess we'll never know i'm stupid about the land i'm um, okay thanks to sexton's 22 the cavaliers cruise past the raptors and uh good good for this trey kirby in his profile picture has the finals logo and get guess what that's where the cavaliers are heading right now sexton 22 bryant 20 love 17 and 16 garland 17 and 10 drummond 14 and 17 17. Wow, nobody. There's only two players in this entire game that scored over 20. It's like a rarity for these series. Oh wow, Lowry had a pretty bad game though. And Siakam. Oh, Drummond and Garland both shot five for about five, five for 15, five for 16, whatever. And Love shot five for 16, 16. Jesus this is a bad game. The NBA Finals of the set: the Spurs versus Cavaliers. This is a rematch of 07. Which six was the Heat? 07. Yeah, this was 07. This is 07. Yeah. 06 was in the Heat one, and Dwayne Wade shot 117 free throws. Even though I was five, I've just, I just know. Lucas Samanik versus Kevin Love. Andre Drummond versus Dwight Howard. Isaac Okoro versus Gordon Hayward, Colin Sexton versus
versus Lonnie Walker and Darius. This is your highly touted final. You get to see prime Dwight Howard and ironically, or well, he led, he led his team to the finals in 09, Dwight, that is. Kevin Love, Um, you've just been on Cleveland for your entire finals run. So yeah, no Tim Rose, Kevin Love finals, of course. I mean, then again, you weren't too far removed when you made it in 2015. Then you got injured though. Okay, the Spurs are getting the hell up out of the water in game. I have a feeling the Spurs are just gonna get him the hell up out of here, right? Dwight Howard is on a different type of timing right now, it seems as if so. 29 and 14 from him, Sexton 20 in game one. The Spurs win game one. Maybe I was mistaken. Hold on, Cavaliers. Five point win. Drummond 25 and 11. Rudy 26. Dwight 23. Okay, next game. But the way things have been going, a close contest was most certainly bound to happen. Here the hell we are. 106, 107 lead for the Cavaliers right now. 52 seconds left and the Spurs have the ball. Rudy Gay playing point guard right now. Point forward. Rudy, he goes around Kevin Love. Rudy, that's, oh yeah, that's right. That is prime Rudy too. Wow. Why'd I forget all about him being in his prime? Probably his numbers weren't too crazy, right? What is he average? But I didn't even pay any attention to him just hitting that layup over, over, uh, wow, I forgot all about him existing as a human being. But yeah, he averaged 18. This is just post or pre Achilles tear Rudy Gay, which he's still been pretty solid past it. As you can see by his numbers, he's definitely bounced back pretty well. Dwight Howard, 18 points on six for 12. He the player of the game so far. But I believe Rudy's leading in scoring. Who is that at point guard? Who is that? Is that Kira Lewis? Who is this? Is Stewart? What? I was about to say Isaiah Stewart, but no, that's a whole different person. Uh, hold on. Oh my God, Stewart, who are you? And what are, what are you? What creature? Why did, how did you just do that? Where did you come from? Why are you now all of a sudden in the game instead of Garland? Okay, Rudy Gay trying to go around Drummond. Rudy's going to pull up. What? Uh, Dwight, get the board. There you go. Dwight Howard dunks it down. Sorry, Jared Allen. You're not there, big dog. You're not ready. Dwight Howard, prime Dwight. I already thanked 2K in a previous video for changing his hair and making his hair, you know what I mean, uh, fit his prime self. Only took the entire console generation to, uh, you know what I mean, do that. Give me a player, multiple hairstyles. Allen into Stewart yet again. Did he give those buckets to DeJounte too? That is just nuts. Oh, hold on. Kevin Love in the post. Love the little shot is off and the Spurs are going to win this probably. Devin, the first free throw was good. They sub back in. Okay. Now, oh, they have DeLon right in now. Where the hell is Garland? Oh, hold on. He missed a free throw. Whoa. Throws it up to Diallo. Diallo has some room from three over to Drum. Drum, you better not shoot it, big dog. Drum into the basket. He gets fouled. Drum, can your free throws come too? I know you've improved a lot over the years. Let's see. Drum the first free throw is good. 38%. That's still a pretty big improvement. For it could have been 12%. And the second one is off. Dwight Howard rebound. Oh, he throws it immediately to Rudy. He was not trying to shoot no free throw. Rudy, the first free throw himself is green. Cavs still gonna have a chance for it. I'm gonna try, you know what I mean? Try and shut the hell up and wait for him to get their chance. Okay, Rudy above. No timeouts left. Where is Colin too? Colin, Colin's not in over to Hamadou Diallo. Over to, hold on. Justin Jackson. Where is Kevin Love? They're long right from three. DeLon, that is all. Rudy rebound. Dog, if you don't get me the hell up out of here, but where are these people? Garland and Sexton and Love fouled out. Oh, this isn't even 2K bugging. They just all fouled out. That is nuts. That is super nuts. Dwight has 20 and 26. Just take the W, dog. I'm simulating out of this. Just take the W, dog. You won. You got it. You got it, Mr. Howard. 115 to 110. 21 and 15 for Drummond. 27, 27, 27, 27. Okay, great. 2-1 lead for the Spurs. Dwight Howard is definitely a pretty big catalyst in that in that remark. Uh, what? In that regard. That would probably be a better way to say it. In that remark. That's like a... Yeah, whatever. That's a word. Um. Okay. 107, 121 win by the Cavaliers now to take game four and tie it up 2-2. Two two. Kevin Love, 30 points and 15 rebounds. A lot better than what Anthony Davis did in that last game. Game five tied 2-2, two two, of course. Well, I mean, it could be 3-1, of course. A couple of different ways to get to five. 97-97, 128 left. Luka Samanek going to pass it into Keldon Johnson over to Della Vadova. Look at the lineup in the game right now. Hold on. Down to Rudy. Rudy, why would you shoot that? Oh, my God. He almost made it. Never mind, Rudy. I won't doubt you. I mean, I guess I should since he missed a shot anyways. Kevin Love bringing up with it. Whoa, look at the Kevin Love dime. Kevin Love known for his full court he's being not known for the Nikola Jokic throw it over the heezy. What? Why did I just say heezy? I don't think I've ever said heezy my entire life. I'm feeling it. Uh, Rudy Gay, he's going, what? No, Rudy Gay, you should stop feeling it. What are you doing? Don't give the ball to Dwight. Still only a 2-2 series. Uh, so Garland and Sexton are both in the game now. Garland has the ball. He throws it down to Love. Love has a lot of, yeah, no, that's Della Vadova on it. His former team, and I guess, so yeah, actually it's funny. Della Vadova playing up against the Cavaliers. They must have traded him or something, right? Did I see a trader? I don't know. He just signed there. Rudy, if you don't give the ball to Dwight real quick, big dog. I know this is prime Rudy. Wow. Rudy's tendencies are on drugs. Oh my God, Rudy. What are you doing? I mean, that wasn't even a bad shot, but you just kind of missed two straight. Just shoot a fadeaway mid-range shot. Oh, here goes Drummond at the free throw line. Drummond, the first is off and the second is also off. Rebound Dwight. Dwight, if you don't just dribble the ball at the floor, screw them. You got Devin open in the corner for three. Devin, we've seen you have some crazy, yo. I believe on previous gen, Devin Vassell had some nuts of uh, the clutch moments when he was an auto-generated player. He had some fun times with Devin back in, you know, I mean, back in those days about three months ago or four months ago or whatever. And now he's over here still doing it in his complete self with an actual face scan. Hold on. Kevin Love fade away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Love, that was dirty. You know why? A, it's just dirty, period. And then Dwight Howard also jumps up trying
trying to contest it to himself. Dwight, I feel like that adds another extra boost to your shot if you see Dwight running up at you. You know what I mean? Multi-time DPOY. What are you winning? Three times? One less than the guy Ben Wallace. But yeah, 103, 100 league. Kevin Love. Hey, I'm here for it. Kevin Love's a cool guy. Kevin Love is the player. I'm over here by the yawn and it's 7, 18 p.m. What is this? is what you're doing 2K videos. That's the we're acting like it's a nine to five. I mean, I guess it does take a lot of work to make these videos. Whatever. Who the hell cares? That's in the Rudy. Ah, Rudy. Hold on. Around back over. DeJounte. DeJounte. You're down by three, by the way. You need a three here. Pass that. No, not again. Not Rudy again. Rudy again. Oh, and one. Never mind. Rudy again. Rudy again. Rudy again. Rudy again. Rudy again. 103, 102 now. And Rudy, you just need this one green light free throw. Oh, man. We are in a. We are in something. The Matrix. We're in the Matrix. Coro into Garland. They have 12 seconds left now. Potentially get the game winner. They should probably try and get to Love, right? Love sets a screen. He's going to go straight down to the post. He's going to get the pass and he throws it away. Whoa, Love got it back. Love, he shoots and it's off. Samanik throws up the full court shot. It is off. Whoa. This man threw an awful pass. Kevin Love, this man, Luka Samanik got the butterfingers, threw it, right, just dropped it right back to Caleb and he missed the layup over Luka Samanik. He's like in his second year pro and he's mad skinny. Why don't you just body him? Come on now, Caleb. Love. Come on. Kevin Love lost too much weight from his 2013 self when he used to drop 40 and 40 every game. This is like the ultimate duel of like the best 2010 big men, uh, Dwight and uh, yeah, Dwight and Kevin Love. Oh yeah, let me let me let me not watch this entire overtime. 58 seconds left. Spurs have the ball. If Rudy, if Rudy's uh, what's it called, put back or not put back, and one and oh, Dwight to the basket, D Drummond too slow. Four point lead. 112, 116. Colin all the way to the basket, pulls up mid range, thought he was gonna hit it. I don't know. Oh okay, that was very late. Here we go with 2K, very late on a CPU player. It's your game, Colin Sexton. You're in the okay, Colin Sexton. The first free throw is all percent was that that kind of had to be a choke right okay he greens the second one hayward goes between the legs i was drinking water missed like half the percent no nothing really happened they just kind of dribbled the ball up dwight from three ayo dwight to the three vassell now he gets a screen from samanik vassell all the way to the basket oh he gets fouled by love i thought he was gonna dunk it on kevin love 113 116 ayo devin vassell first the three-point shot and was that this game i don't remember either way you are one hell of a clutch player i'm gonna I'm like you in real life now just because of the way you played in 2k hell it's like bobo you've seen the things bobo did in my games on in my simulations on 2k 20 that man was jesus christ himself i still don't understand the content creators going back 2k20 though like this game is better than 2k20 i'm not gonna lie i like this game i like next gen 2k way better than 2k20 2k20 had quick draw for christ's sake these players be shooting in 40 percent speed oh my god Get darius garland a floater then again this game's probably over anyway we're down to free throws hey yo give it to Dejounte. come on now Dejounte murray the free throw is good actually his percentage isn't even that great but um he, he got it done and the second one is off rebound allen up to a coral over the garden this has been a nuts game it's been probably the best game this entire video just yet in garland the layup is good again what why wouldn't you play defense hold on i gotta i gotta stick around now murray the first free throw is off here we go they have a chance that was 72 percent and it missed second free throw murray is green come on Cavs. they need a three garland great layups by you to give yourself a chance we about to head to a second ot C colin over to a coro in the corner for three a coro it's good the rookies or well now the sophomore players a coro and vassell giving buckets to each other i guess six seconds left 120 120 Samanik into Murray. Murray now four seconds left. Murray spin move pulls up. Mid range shot is off. Why was that so clean? What is his mid range shot even? Oh my god, he missed full court shot. Okay, Dejounte, I wish your mid range was like a 98, so you could have hit that. Actually, I feel like it's a pretty. Oh my god, it's a 97. Why couldn't you have hit that? <laughs> I said I wish it was a 98 and it was one lower. I mean, it's probably like a 92, but he has an adrenaline boost. You know, we're in the middle of the game. That that green arrow plus thing. Now, but back to my 2K20 thing though. You know, the only thing is though, I understand why content creators got an easily just a. a just became sour to this game off rip because christ sake the biggest mode the city it didn't work I mean, nowadays i really enjoy my team actually i streamed my team a couple of times on twitch uh, not often actually but i mean you know what i mean i streamed it once like a week ago now i'm probably gonna go on there again this weekend i really enjoy playing my team that's fun but the fact that they they hype up always the city the my career and all that stuff my career is low-key just falling off let's just be honest the mode in general is falling off what the hell am i doing the spurs are up by one Does you oh wait hold on the Cavs still have timeouts too this actually no we're still here for the interesting part murray you probably just missed a bunch of free throws to be honest with you murray hits both free throws but the Cavs have a timeout we have hit seen so many clutch threes hit dog if we don't just uh, hold it down one more time Cavs force a third ot delon right is pat oh did someone foul out actually oh no no we're good oh my god colin wide open corner three is off oh oh my god bro this man i look like andre drummond right now andre drummond had his hands on his head dog this man colin sexton wide open we gotta run it back real quick just just as i don't even need to see you don't need to see it again i see the still frame of how open he was Oh man, after all the shots you hit against the Nets, uh, you're playing another black and white team too. You know what I mean? Color scheme. Look at all the room he's got. Devin Vassell about a good three yards away. Colin Sexton, whole world on his shoulder.
shoulders right now and he is going to miss this for the game and then drummond couldn't get the rebound he kind of just tipped it out of bounds or something stupid like that yep that's it the cavaliers oh let me not quit that would have been awful actually i probably could have just forced a win to one of the other one of the two teams white 29 and 19 holland 25 he had a great game too that's got to piss him oh my god he's got to piss him off like crazy harlan 21 a coro 19 oh my yep 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 three to two lead for san antonio and that is it after all the high intensity all the everything all the whatever the hell i'm definitely happy i went another year because this series has been ill there's been a couple other incredible series 133 120 rudy is gonna pull up for another missed shot because why the hell not ended off with one more because rudy has been incredible in this year. actually he did kind of save them though with that n1 oh my god kevin love ah all the way around rudy pull up mid-range shot is off that is it jared never mind get one more in there for kevin ayo kevin he feeling himself oh jared get one more in there for yourself okay great the san antonio spurs and matthew della Vadova are going to win the nba finals in year number two of this prime simulation with dwight howard on their team yep i got nothing else to say they um they are indeed the champ i think i just said like no words for about like three seconds as the bell the bell went off or the horn or whatever the final horn that's literally what they call it. not the final bell what is this school look at young devin holding the trophy and uh dwight how I, I, whoa whoa why is his hair like that now what this man just grew out his hair in three days why or no matter, forget three days he was probably on regular on the court what are they doing to dwight why does dwight look like that all of a sudden what what how do you just hello greg how are you but i'm not i'm not focused on you right what is what just happened no no, no. it was there highlights real quick can i see a highlight score summary yes jared allen took a shot was dwight look at him he <laughs> right here he, he didn't just grow out the hair he didn't get no implants nothing he didn't get the uh the tory lanes he, he got none of that bro they just they this is this is him 10 minutes ago or f five six seconds ago this man the celebration randomly just had his regular modern day hair back what did he skip 10 oh you know what that's actually that's a signal that's signifying that the video is over we're moving, we're moving back to modern era kevin love 23 sex and 22 allen 20 drummond 17 garland well you guys had a great all around it except for garland's five for 16 shooting gordon actually 27 he's been kind of quiet because rudy just takes every single shot whenever i watch the game as rudy shot 5 for 14 same amount of shots as gordon 9 15 from dwight 23 10 5 blocks wow i, I feel like i haven't checked blocks ever I, I i felt like dwight i felt compelled to check blocks real quick and yep deuces to cleveland deuces to the entirety of everything congratulations dwight howard with your 24 and 18 a game two two assists one steal four blocks 55 percent from the field league leaders in playoff stats while lebron was putting up 38 and 13 a game even chris paul's up here in scoring rebounds there the hell you go dwight caleb drummond capella and towns is rebounding the cheat code no minnesota got way deeper than i expected them to which was only like the second round and kevin love and drummond they're just i don't know they exist in the finals to be fair they, they went to the, and then dwight howard they, he went to the finals himself okay chris paul ja lebron curry and mike conley in assists field goal was going to be zion no it's actually bam 72 percent and three point was kevin herter with 63 percent he must have got bounced first round yes he did they played five games i see the final stats real quick just to close it off there you go they're on the screen hey yo that is officially gonna do it i don't got much else to say this is a fun video i like this people been asking me to do this for so long the prime videos thing yada yada thank you for watching you can like and subscribe to my channel if you keep on my channel at all i think i said earlier that i was going to talk about kyle lowry with uh the um i was about to say I, I i wonder what the comments gonna be filled with like if i messed up one player in this that i forgot to not put in their prime on the uh on the hometown teams or the previous teams video i forgot to put kyle lowry back on the rockets and i have never seen more kyle lowry fans in my entire life it was funny let me know what the hell you want to see next i'll tell my links in the description just in case ayo anything ever happens to this existence of this youtube channel you could follow this stuff on that thing like the twitter the instagram the whatever the hell i already i tell you i hate social media every video but whatever it's a good so it's a good security i was about to say social security what is this the irs what what am i saying i don't know i would appreciate if you could do do the things that click on the channel and uh you know i mean help my career and i'm gonna get the hell up out of here uh